And I think it's a substitution problem again. Sideline no warning. Sideline warning. On Oklahoma. You know, Rocky Calvis, we were talking to the Oklahoma State coaches on Wednesday, and one of the first things they all said is, boy, we are so glad Rocky Calvis is not playing. <laughs> and then he shows up and plays. Yeah, not so fast That's on that, right. because when they say there's a game-time decision, like Bob Stoops told us, on Rocky Calvis, he usually ends up playing. Scott Elder, so far the MVP of this game for the Cowboys. Jackson standing at his 10. Elder, a little pooch. Trying to get it inside the end zone, and it makes it there, and they couldn't knock it down. You know, Ron, on those pooch kicks, you got to try to get the ball in the air a little bit more so your coverage guys like Young have a chance to run down the field and field the ball. If you kick a line drive like that, the ball is just going to bounce into the end zone, and that's happened twice. Well, Sunday night fights will be returning to Fox Net on December the 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern. IBF middleweight champ Bernard Hopkins defends his title against the number one ranked contender, Antoine Equilas, who has 22 KOs in his 22 fights. That's coming your way in December here on Fox Sports Net. OU straight ahead, nothing doing. And Eric, we understand we have a final update on our chain. Final update, the original chain after being out for about 10-20 uh, minutes undergoing a surgical procedure is back in action. The chain gang is here and they say, hey, we got the original back, so after successful surgery, it's back in action again and nobody moved on that no game play. <laughs> Guys? You gotta you got play with pain though, Eric. <laughs> you know, absolutely. Shouldn't be in the Big 12 if you can't stand it. No gain on the play. Second and 10, Heifel directing traffic. Andre Wolfolk moves in. The Cowboys bring five. Heupel pass up to the 25, complete, and dropped immediately is Damian Mackey. Pick up of five on the play. You know, we were talking about Stocker McDougal. Now watch the big fella here, number 78. He's going to set up. He's going to retreat. He's going to get his rear end down. He's going to get his hands out. That is excellent pass protection. He keeps his feet moving, but you know what he does? He pushes the defender, Warner, past the quarterback. That's what the pro scouts like about this big man, his ability to move his feet. Wolfolk in motion. Third down and four. Hyper can run for it if he hurries. Gets it off, the pass is caught, and then dropped. Seth Luttrell had it, but was hit immediately by Robbie Gillum. It is intended for Seth Luttrell. You know, the funny thing, Ron, about football, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Now, this time, old McDougal's going to set up, but Warner says, oh, boy, I'm just going to pull him over. Now, I think, in all fairness to McDougal, he went down and tried to cut him at the last minute, but it didn't look good. Now the Sooners facing fourth and four. Oklahoma State shuttling some players in, and oh, you set to kick it away again. Things have settled down since the first minute and ten here of the third when Oklahoma scored to make it a 21-7 ball game. The rush was there, and this is a booming kick. Richardson all the way back to his 13-yard line. Doesn't make it up to the 20. He's run out of bounds at the 16. A 58-yard kick. Zero on the return. Fantastic coverage again. And coming into the game, Oklahoma was number nine in the country in net punt. Tremendous, tremendous job. Now, you know, we talk about form all the time with quarterbacks and place kickers, but Jeff Ferguson has got excellent form in punting the football. He waits, the ball is snapped perfectly, he gets the ball, he takes one, two, three, and he hits the ball, perfect form. But watch, look at that leg, look at that extension with that leg coming up there. That is just tremendous form by the Ferguson, excuse me, by the punter, Jeff Ferguson. On first and ten, OSU, Jamal Fobbs, the junior out of New Orleans, Louisiana, whose father is a coach at Baylor and is in attendance today. Nothing doing. Ramon Richardson or Rocky Calvis there to make the stop. Now watch what happens here with, with Fobbs. He gets outside, and he's looking outside, but you know what, Ron? If he had to do this over again, I would have cut that baby back inside because there's too many red shirts out here. He doesn't see it, 
and that's why we always talk about vision as being a running back's best friend. If he had a little bit better vision inside, he might have gotten positive yardage. He lost a yard officially on the play. Second and 11 for Bob Simmons and company. Lindsey pressured again. Look out. Throws it complete over the middle to the 25. Ethan Howe run out of bounds at the 46-yard line by Mike Woods. What a great job by that man just getting away from the pressure. Howell, a track guy, transferred from Grambling, did a good job of getting open to allow Lindsey to get him the ball. Pickup of 31 on the play. His dad, Dallas, played in the National Football League, and his twin brother is one of those players that were suspended for this game. Well, yeah, one pass in all 11 games this season. And it was iffy for a while. He's been quiet today. First and 10 from the 47 for the Cowboys. Down by two touchdowns. Brown the fullback. Nothing doing. You know, Oklahoma State is going to have to open it up a little bit here because they're down by 14 points and hope that they can make some big plays. And we are inside the final 30 seconds here of quarter number three. OSU not in any big hurry to get this play off. They have to get it off about five seconds before the game clock goes to zero. Running the time to snap it as Jamal Fonz goes in motion. The rush again. Lindsey keeps it. Lindsey crumbles. Ball is loose. Oklahoma State recovers. Roy Williams lowered the boom on Lindsey, but a great job recovering that loose ball by the Cowboys. You know, you talk about fumbles and you talk about forced fumbles. That was a forced fumble that time by Roy Williams. Adam Davis puts the big body, all 6'4", 275 on it. Recovers the loose ball, and that's the way the third quarter will come to an end with Oklahoma leading the Cowboys of Oklahoma State, 21-7. Thousand dollars, and this was Yeoman's effort by Mike. Watch the form. <laughs> you know what? That is ugly. And then the hands go up. And he got a thousand dollars. Is that what that is? Got a thousand bucks. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Him. Won't be able to walk tomorrow, but he's got a thousand dollars. By golly, that's the good news. And the good news for the Oklahoma Sooners is seventy-five thousand plus on hand for the Bedlam series. The 94th meeting, and OU leads by 14, heading into the final quarter. Now with Eric Cummins and Artie Gigantino, I'm Ron Thune. We're glad you spent your Saturday with us. Look at this formation over here, Ron. Four guys at the bottom of the screen. Lindsey scrambling, intercepted by the Sooners. Corey Heineke, the sophomore out of Edmond, Oklahoma, his first interception of the year. The former walk-on comes up with a pick. Look at this formation. There's four guys over here, but Weineke's right here. He's going to step forward and then come back out and intercept it. That's called a zone blitz. The defensive end comes out. He's helping cover in the middle, and that is a thrill of a lifetime for a defensive end. Great job, and Lindsey never, ever saw him. I think you're right, Artie. I don't think you ever saw him coming no, out. No chance. X walk on. Had some back problems early, early in the year, but his back feels great right now. And the Sooners keep it on the ground. Reggie Skinner dancing around, going absolutely nowhere, but he got there quickly. And you know, you talk about a guy like Corey Heineke. He, he's a guy that only weighs like 220 pounds. And that yep. just shows you the type of determination that young man has. Well, he went to Northeastern A&M. Started out there his career. Was a blocking fullback and a deep snapper. Came to OU, thought I was going to play fullback there. They had Seth Luttrell, wasn't fast enough, so he said, I'm going to play some defense. Done quite well. And the numbers on Hyper. Five for seven on the long passes. A little short look in pass is complete. Antoine Savage, the true freshman out of Georgia. Inside the 25, down to the 24. That's your uh, Artie Gigantino run after catch. 
and Oklahoma does it so well, which is why their completion percentage is so high. Heupel's going to get the ball. He's going to take it. He's going to throw it outside, and bingo, it's an easy catch. Savage gets up the field. Now, he coming into the game today, he averaged.